Hello there, everybody! Below 10,000 here, bringing you Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team. For those of you that don't know, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is one of my favorite franchises of all time, and it is my favorite subset of the Pokemon franchise, even more so than the mainline games. These games have brilliant stories, great characters, fun gameplay, and I have been hooked on them ever since I first laid eyes on Blue Rescue Team way back in the early 2000s when my friend got this game for his DS and I played it in his house. We got a Pikachu and a with a Mudkip partner, and then years later I played the Explorers games, which I have also played on Twitch. Sadly, the streams aren't saved anywhere, but I have played through those before uh, on Twitch. And I thought, I want to play through Blue Rescue Team again. I'm going to be playing through Super and Gates at some point on my own, because I've just ordered a new 2DS, so I thought, why not catch up with the series by playing where it all began? And I've wanted to record this series for many years now. I tried to record Red Rescue Team years ago, and it just never really happened. And now, I really feel like this is the time. So, let's do this. I'm aiming for a Mudkip character. So, welcome. This is the portal that leads to the world of Pokemon. But before I can let you through, I have several questions for you. I want you to answer them sincerely. Are you ready? Okay, let the interview begin. Do you occasionally consider yourself dull and overly cautious? God, yes. Yes, way too much. I am the dullest, overly cautious human being on the planet. Can you go into a haunted house with someone I like? Uh, no. No problem. I, I genuinely have no problems with haunted houses. I'd love to visit one. You receive a gift, but you don't know what's in it. You're curious, so what do you do? Open it now, open it later, or get someone to open it? Ah, oh, that's difficult, because depending on who sent me the gift, I would open it then. But if it was like a Christmas gift or a birthday gift, I would open it later. I don't actually, I'm not, I've, I've kind of calmed down when it comes to gifts recently, so I'll go open it later. There's a bucket. If you put water in it, how high will you fill it? Half. I, I you always have to fill up my mop bucket when I'm mopping the floors, and it's always halfway. You're going bungee jumping for the first time. Oh, God. Since it's scary, you decide to test the jump with a doll, and the bungee cord snaps. Oh, no. Will you still try to make the jump anyway? <laughs> Fuck that. No. Your country's leader is in front of you. How do you speak to him or her? Speak calmly, speak nervously, or whatever. Uh, I'd probably speak calmly, simply because if I'm too nervous, then they will sense my fear, and they will kill me. And if I go, whatever, then they will, like, kick me out and I'll be deported, so speak calmly. Do you like to imagine things for your amusement? Yes, I have a very active imagination, I always have. You're offered a choice of two gifts, which one will you take, the big box or the small box? Nowadays, the small box, because big boxes, you know, you can hide a lot of stupid stuff in them. I think small boxes are a little bit more interesting. Are you a boy or a girl? I'm a boy. You appear to be the calm type. You're capable of giving advice to friends with worries. You don't like to fight. You're a warm, kind-hearted person who cares. That's me. That really is. This is me. And everyone that's watching this is like, that's me. <laughs> You must have many friends who look up to you. Aww. However, you may also be somewhat gullible. Yeah. 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 As well as a little careless. Yeah. And even a little slop- SLOPPY! You might want to keep those points in mind. A calm person like you should be- YES! Oh, I forgot! I didn't think- well, I thought Calm wasn't my- I thought Calm was like, um, Charmander or Bulbasaur in this one. Yes! We did it first try, we did it first try, I don't have to do any cuts. Mm -hmm. Okay, alright. This is the final step. Who would you like to have as a partner? Choose the Pokemon you want as your partner from this group. Trico, always. I gotta have my Aussie. 
What is your partner's nickname? My partner's nickname is Ozzy. For those of you that uh, are familiar with uh, Pokemon Digital Dungeon Let's Plays, uh, you'll know that Ozzy is actually the name of the partner character in Super Skarmory's old uh, Mystery Dungeon Let's Plays, because he was actually the one who really introduced me to the Explorers games, and I kind of just adopted Ozzy from his series. And then, now at this point, um, I feel like I've characterized Ozzy in my head so much that he's his own character now, and I, he's, he's a different Ozzy from the one in uh, Super Skarmory's playthroughs. And uh, and then my mudkip is Ewan, E-W-A-N, which is, uh, you know, Ewan McGregor, all that fun stuff. Uh, so his name Ozzy, okay, yes. All right, we're all set. Let's get you into the world of Pokemon. Go for it. Just ch chuck us in. Bye. Where am I? Uh, am I dreaming this? Uh, I feel a pleasant breeze. I hear a voice from somewhere. I wonder who it is. Uh... Excuse me? Please, wake up. Come on, wake up. Hi, Ozzy. Hey! You're finally awake! Great! Well, where is this? Ugh. You are passed out here. I'm glad to see you awake. I'm Ozzy. Glad to meet you. Damn, straight away with the introductions. And you are... I've never seen you around before. Um... Huh? You're a human? But you look like a normal mudkip in every way. Huh? Oh no! Huh! It, it, it's true! I have turned into a mudkip! But... why? I... I don't remember anything. Aw. Uh... You're kinda weird, you know that? Your name. What's your name? My name? Oh, that's right, my name is... It's Ewan. It's... it's Ewan. Ewan McGregor. No, it's Ewan. It's Ewan the mudkip. Whom I have... Uh, he is my mudkip. He has been my avatar for a very long time. He is actually currently my Twitter avatar, my Ewan. There we go. Let's pop, pop him in there. Oh, Ewan's your name? Well, it's a funny name. <laughs> if I called myself Ozzy, would you be laughing at your fucking own name? Ozzy, excuse me. Uh... Somebody, please help me. I remember who this is. Butterfree, right? Yes. Huh? I, I hear shouts from over there. Oh no! What's wrong? It's horrible! My caterpie fell into a cavern! My poor baby! What? A huge fissure opened in the ground, and my caterpie fell in. He's too young to crawl out by himself. When I went to get my baby, Pokemon suddenly attacked me. Huh? You were attacked? By other Pokemon? They must be enraged by the fissure, and out of control. That's what I think. I'm not strong enough to fend off these wild Pokémon. What will become of my baby? Oh, what am I to do? Oh dear, oh dear. This sounds bad. We have to go help. I like how I just like, you know what? Sure, let's go. I'll just join- I'll just join up with you and help out. Uh, why are there so many people near me? Head for the destination while attacking foes with A. Try not to let your partner faint. Oh, uh, why Why are we literally... Uh, okay, so let me just uh, take a look. Do we have the... Uh... Do we have the button that actually lets you kind of select a move, like, from your quick slots? Or do I have to actually go into the... Well, I like going into the menu to click my moves, to be fair. It's not a problem. Oh, I need to... I need to get some options. Where are my options? Oh god, okay. Uh, let's go to others quickly, and let's actually just quickly change the game options. Uh, window, keep it on blue, controls, DS, uh, dungeon, fast. God, fast. It needs to be fast. Uh, damage turn, yes, grids on, display mode, A, B, clear map, shaded map, no map, clear map, uh, yeah, let's get a, a clear map. And that should be cool. Change settings, yes. Perfect. That's all I needed. Alright, so I, I have played these games before. I know how they work. Uh, however, I am obviously playing on an emulator. I do own the actual game IRL, so don't worry. Uh, but I am playing on an emulator, and I don't know all the controls just yet. So I need to kind of uh, get to grips with uh, what, what A and B is, 
uh, and, and kind of just figured that one out. But yeah, Mystery Dungeon is basically a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game. Uh, it's a game where you play as a human-turned-Pokemon whose whole gimmick is, hey, I found my, myself in the Pokemon world, and that's, okay, that's cool. Uh, I, I found myself in the Pokemon world, and, well, I don't know what to do. And I'm gonna have to try and solve mysteries with my Pokemon partner while exploring for randomly generated dungeons in the mystery dungeon genre. Because the mystery dungeon genre itself isn't just related to Pokemon mystery dungeon, but is in fact a much larger subset of video games uh, that that has, has permeated since I think the, the 90s, I'd like to say. Uh, there, there have been tons of different uh, franchises and genres that have actually uh, kind of gone through getting the Mystery Dungeon treatment, and Pokemon is just one of the, the lucky ones. One of the, the cool ones. I'm trying to figure out uh, what the... Because I know in the Explorers games you can actually quick select certain moves. Maybe I actually need to uh, highlight them on the menu. Let me go. That's, 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 that's B. Okay. Switch set moves. Uh, okay. Can I, can I set you? Can I, can I set you? There we go. And Ozzy, I'm gonna turn off Leah. I'm not gonna lie, because I, I'm never a big fan of the status moves in, like, normal gameplay. And let me try this again. Uh, let me just figure out what the, uh, uh, the, the, Okay, let me see. I, I just want to make sure that I've got the set right, because obviously... Okay, can we, can we, can we, can we, can it? We... Ewan, that's the B button. This is ridiculous. I should, I should have, I should have done a test recording. Ha! That wasn't, that wasn't a, that wasn't the move I wanted to use. There we go, that's how you use your set moves. I figured it out now. I also pressed B instead of A, but, you know, that's okay. There we go. Boom. Done. Alright, figured it out. Stairs leading to the next floor. Let's go. Tiny woods. Below floor three. Or basement third floor. That's what it means. I always found it weird how, like, woods and stuff have basements. I feel like sectors would make so much more sense. A petcha berry heals any kind of poisoning. Open the menu with B and select it under items. Okay, you know. You might get poisoned at some point. I remember this original... Mystery dungeon game is actually quite brutal when it comes to status effects and and so and, and difficulty spikes as well This this game has a lot of difficulty spikes And I just think they remember struggling with a lot of the early game dungeons with this combination especially like uh, Mount blaze. I think it was called uh, the one where you fight Moltres later on spoilers by the way um, For anyone who's never seen this game before uh, but obviously I struggle with that one a lot because Trico Ozzy would die in literally one hit and and that was just really really annoying there we go. Hi, Caterpie. Ah, mommy, where are you? Hey, we came to rescue you. Huh? Your mom's waiting. Let's get you out. Okay. Yay. My baby's safe. I'm sorry. I, I don't know how I could ever thank you properly. Oh, that's okay. It has been dangerous lately with sudden quakes and fishes like that one. It was great to find your little boy unharmed. Please, may I have your names at least? I'm Ozzy, uh, this is Ewan. <laughs> cool. Oh no, we have a fan. He's, uh, staring at me adoringly. Oh god. Those sparkly eyes, it's a little embarrassing. But this doesn't feel bad either, it's like I'm a hero. Helping Pokemon in trouble might be a good experience. Thank you, Ozzy and Ewan. I know it isn't really enough, but this is a token of our thanks. Please accept it. Ewan's team received the promised Orin Berry. And a Petcha Berry. And a Rost Berry. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Bye. So that happened. Thank you for helping. You're very tough. I was sure impressed. So, what are you going to do? Do you have any plans? Uh... Well... Listen, Ewan, if you don't have a place to stay, you could come with me. Because he has a house on standby. <laughs> well, this is the place. Just a random house on standby that happens to be really good for mudkips. What with the, the lily pads. Wow, I can't explain, but I'm happy. I'm a human being, but I like this place. I, I feel weirdly happy. 
It might be an instinct thing for Pokemon. Maybe this is what it feels like to want to wag your tail. It doesn't matter. I'm happy. Maybe I feel that way because I'm Mudkip? Oh, you and you're impressed, aren't you? I thought so. I thought this would make a good place for you to live, Ewan. I was sure you'd like it, even though I've only known you for like two minutes. This is your mailbox. They deliver mail from Pokemon here. You know, just like the fish a Caterpie fell into, for some reason there have been many natural disasters lately. Because of those disasters, many Pokemon are suffering. I want to help Pokemon in these tough times, because I'm just a caricature and I'm not really that fleshed out as a partner. I want to help change things so all the Pokemon can live in peace. So... Well, I liked how you handled yourself when we rescued Caterpie. Would you like to join me on a rescue team? You and with you, I think we could even become the world's best rescue team. How about it? Bitch, please, I just got here. I don't... Go away. <laughs> but... But... Hewan, I'm sure that the two of us would make a first-class rescue team. So come on now. Let's form a rescue team together. But... But you, you and pl I'm sure we could do- you, we could do great. I really believe we could be amazing together. Fine. Perfect. That's it then. We're partners in our rescue team from now on, Ewan. Glad to have you on board. The team name? Well, I don't have one yet. So, Ewan, what do you think would be a good name for us? Oh god, what the hell do I call them? I- I never really cared about the team names, I won't lie. It really wasn't something that I necessarily focused on. So, what the hell am I gonna name it? I'm gonna call you the Billy Bays. Yay, I'm gonna name it after my channel, of course I am. The Billy Bays. Yes. Billy Bays? I like it, it's a good name. It's perfect for us, but what, what does it actually mean? It sounds great, but what does it mean? <laughs> Rescue team, Billy Bays. Let's do good starting tomorrow. Yay, I'm gonna randomly pose, even though I've literally just met this guy like two minutes ago, and we saved Academy together, and now I'm starting a rescue team with him. I'm a working adult now. <laughs> and that is how you and an Aussie began their careers together as a rescue team. I like how in this game, though, the partner isn't necessarily like a child. It's actually not implied what the partner's age is, but based on how they reacted to Caterpie, I think it's clear the partner is at least, like, I would say teenage age, at the very least, which I really like, because I feel like Pokemon Super Mystery, uh, Super Mystery Dungeon really alienates uh, older fans because you play as literal, like, like, literal children who go to school, and it's like, no, I don't like that. Anyway, next morning. Aww. What, not even a nest? Come on. I'm still the same. The way I look, I'm still Mudkip. But why would I be transformed into a Pokemon? Huh. I don't understand this at all. I feel groggy and sleepy. Not feeling well. I need more sleep. Right, this is this is um the way you, you forward the plot is I'm not feeling very well. Now I only want to sleep. I'll rest in bed. Why have me walk around then if you're just gonna go back to sleep? I'd like to save my adventure, please. There we go. And then I'd like to go back to sleep. Thank you. And then I just wake up again. Ah. <sighs> Oof. I'm feeling refreshed. I can't believe that Pokemon Mystery Dungeon invented oof before Roblox. I still look like a Pokemon, but... That's right, that Pokemon. I think it was Ozzy? We made a promise to form a rescue team together. I wonder what Ozzy is doing. I should go out. Yeah, let's, let's... Uh, well, we'll go outside next episode, because I want to try and keep these 20 minute episodes. So thank you very much everyone for watching my first Pokemon Blue Rescue Team video. If you want to see more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, leave a like, leave a comment, leave a subscribe, and, uh, you know, just tune in next time. I'll try and do this daily, and we'll see where things go, and we'll see how long I can hold myself in before I start taking the piss out of how the story is quite basic to start off with, and how some of the characters are, well, very special. 
Uh, but I really love these games. They are my guilty pleasure. They are also my most beloved franchise, and I'm very excited to play them. So thank you for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys tomorrow for episode two. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.